England had just been knocked out of the World Cup and my kids were feeling pretty low. I wanted to give them a chance to show the world what they could do. The Costa Blanca Cup was the perfect challenge, but time was very limited. I only had two weeks to train the kids, convince their parents to travel to Spain and enter the team to represent England in the competition. We had to register a minimum of five players, and five is all we had. No substitutes. Waiting for us in Spain were the best teams from all over the world. first opening was a Venezuelan side, uh, a futsal side who normally comes to Costa Blanca. And they won so many tournaments already in South America. When we first faced them in the first match, we have managed to actually beat them 3-1. The kids were amazing, we only had five kids, with one of them being nine years old, which was Alessio. And uh, we were just so overwhelmed really after the first match. I was trying to believe that we were going to go ahead. But the parents were still thinking we should just have fun and enjoy the week. second match where we went to face the Spanish side in a, in a town called La Vila. Surprisingly again, the kids won, they beat the Spanish side, which was a surprise for me. And all of a sudden all the people in the tournament and the organizers start talking about the West London as a big team. On a Wednesday, because we are playing in two matches on the same day with five players, we would have been so tired to play two matches in the same day. And I told them, boys, if we can only get one win on a Wednesday morning, we can actually get through the finals with nine points. So what do you want to do? And they all said to me, look, we want to win all of them. We want to win four matches and make the finals. La verdad es que el West London me ha sorprendido muchísimo, eh, ya que son solo cinco chicos que han venido a competir y la verdad es que me ha sorprendido la capacidad física que, que han tenido.
of a sudden we just we just faced ourselves in a situation where we have only five players playing against teams who have 12, 13 players. And on a Wednesday night, we have actually managed to play another Spanish side and we beat them. So we make the same finals, which was actually on Thursday. Soy Federico Carbonell, entrenador de Montesión, que he tenido el honor de enfrentarme ante el West London. Y bueno, para mí West London es un equipo en el cual que me ha sorprendido mucho porque al tratarse de un equipo con solo cinco jugadores y poder llegar a una final, demuestra que la capacidad física del equipo es enorme. On, on a Thursday we went to the semi-finals against the Spanish side again and they had another amazing performance which in my opinion was the best performance ever throughout the tournament. They managed to beat the Spanish side 5-1 and by the end of the day we already knew that on Friday we would have been playing the finals against a very strong side which in fact wasn't on the Spanish side, it was a team from Ukraine. Estoy muy contento de haber conocido a estos cinco o seis chavales de Londres, cada uno de países diferentes, de culturas diferentes, pero estoy muy contento porque y sorprendido de ver que cinco chavales que no se conocían, cinco jugadores que no se conocían, han hecho un campeonato extraordinario, tienen individualmente son jugadores increíbles. Thursday night we went to this dinner when we had all the coaches gathering together and all that the coaches could talk about was the West London. It was actually the final when we faced the Ukrainian team at 12 o'clock. All the kids were very nervous so I told them look you are already making history because you're the first English team ever to make finals and even semi-finals in futsal. So you're representing England, you're making history already. Be glad for that. We played well, we worked hard, but then our heads went down when we lost. But our coach said to be happy with our colour.
what about next year? Are you going to come back? Yeah. 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 I'm going to win this. Are oh, you going to win this? Yeah. yeah. Came second, unfortunately, but we really played well as a team. Um, the team we lost against was... Um, Ukraine. Ukraine. And they trained three times a week and they played matches. Four years ago. What about you? We haven't... Well, we've only been playing together for about five weeks or something like that. Six weeks. Don't forget to say you hit the post twice. We should have, we could have won that. We hit the post twice, we could have won that. <laughs> no, um, we hit the crossbow once. I went the crossbow once. You? No, we hit the crossbow once. Well, I have had a great week with all these boys, great experience. Going back home now for another couple of months training so we can get back next year and win the trophy. With no voice. With no voice, my voice is completely gone. It's coming back now. We came second, unfortunately. Here's the medal. And Kazuki, was Kazuki's trophy? Trophy was. He got um, a player of the tournament award, I think. Um, Costa Blanca Cup 2010. Mejor jugador Alvin. Best player Class D. 